Hi, this is Ryan from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to be tying a body quill jig nymph. We're using here a size 14 jig hook with a slotted tungsten bead. You can use them generally in 12 through 16 is the size we use. But first, start your thread at the front of the hook. I'm going to take a piece of Coq de Leon, about four fibers probably for a tail. Tie it in about a body length, about a hook length. Tie that down. Take and trim off your extra. And then take a piece of copper wire, and I kind of like to stick it in this little slot in the jig hook, and then tie it down. You get a nice smooth body that way. And then take and grab both of them. Wind them all the way to the back, trying to keep them on top of the hook as much as you can. Alright, so then we're going to take a piece of this, the new Vivas body quill. We're going to be using olive here. This here. It works really well for making really thin jig flies like we use a lot of here. So just take and tie in a piece of the body quill. Wind it up. You're going to make the body about three quarters of the length of the hook shank. Pretty standard for jig nymphs. Get out of there. There you go. So then take the body quill and wind it forward, being careful to make sure your spacing is nice and nice and even so you don't get many gaps in it. Kind of a nice translucent, slightly iridescent look to these flies. Fish really like these. Wind it all the way to the front. Up there. Take, tie it down. Trim off your excess. And take your copper wire. And rib it all the way to the front. Probably usually get four, maybe five ribs on a fly this size. Tie that down. And then on mine, I prefer to just do dubbing for a thorax. You can do a couple different things. A lot of guys put a CDC hackle on them. I just do straight dubbing. I'm going to use the SLF Prism Dub and Olive here. And I like to kind of continue the thin profile of this fly. I don't like making them real thick. A lot of our fish, especially as the season kind of progresses, like thinner and thinner flies. Do one more. Take off the extra. Yeah, you kind of want it that profile. You don't want it a whole lot thicker than that. It'll kind of shag out as you get... Catch a few fish on it, use the fly, it likes to become a little bit thinner and kind of flow towards the back of the fly, which is good. So that's it. And then all you do is whip finish at the front. Tie it down. Trim off your thread. This is a fly the the body quill comes in a lot of different colors. You can you can adapt this fly to nearly any any insect on any kind of any size of jig hook. I just, uh, the fish really like the super thin profile of the body. It seems like if there's picky fish, the thinner the fly, the better off you are. Thanks.